What's going on guys, it's Mark with Limo Marketer. And welcome to 2020. It's time to get back on my content game. So this is my first video of this year and what I really wanna focus on is answering any questions you guys have, but also um, I'm coming up with content ideas based on some of the questions I've been getting in the Limo Marketing Mastermind Facebook group and also with the companies I work with. So today I actually got a pretty good question um, from someone I work with in Jacksonville. And so he said, Mark, we have, um, I believe it was called the TPC Classic or something. I'm not a huge uh, follower of golf, but there's a large championship in uh, I think it was Ponte Vedra Beach. And he said, I want to get as many people as possible um, for that event using my transportation services. And so um, this, I actually, I actually get this question oftentimes. So an event might be happening in town, let's say it's a huge concert or it's a huge sporting event, and you wanna make sure that your ads are in front of the people that are searching for transportation services to that event. And so what I've found based on looking at thousands and thousands of different Google search term reports, which shows you exact search queries, so what someone actually types before they click on your ad. After looking over thousands of them, I found typically people don't search for limo to and then event name, unless it's a very large event, um, let's say it's the Indy 500, then you might have some people searching limo to Indy 500, but we have to remember, number one, you have to have adequate search volume. So if you don't have adequate search volume for your keyword, okay, so let's say your keyword is Limo Indy 500. And let's say an average of, let's say 50 or 60 people search that a month. That might not be enough to trigger this keyword. So a keyword's gotta have adequate search volume or it won't even get triggered. And remember guys, keywords trigger ads. That's how it works. You have keywords and you have ads. When a keyword gets triggered, meaning someone searches for these, uh, these different uh, search phrases, uh, it triggers an ad. So number one, we have to have adequate search volume. And so the question becomes then, well, what kind of keyword should I use, Mark? What you typically wanna do is you want to create a keyword around the venue. And so um, for this, in, in this instance, I know the event is happening at Pone Vedra Beach. I think that's how it's pronounced, not completely sure. So I'm going to create keywords that look like this. Well. Don't have enough space on this. Uh, that's gonna be, that could be one keyword. Another keyword could be, and then, you know, this about, well, I'll just write it again. Ponte Vedra Beach. Okay, now remember, we don't have to put the service next to limo because typically, when someone searches limo rental or limo service, in both instances, they're looking for a limo service, right? They're not looking to drive the limo themselves. However, with car, if you use car rental, that could be someone looking for uh, to rent a car, like Hertz or um, you know Dollar rent a car. And so, with uh, the keyword car, we always want to have service with it. Uh, so that's essentially what you do, guys. You figure out, okay, so. 
the event name, if it's a big enough event, there might be enough people searching, but typically what you want to do, best practice is what is the venue? What's the name of the venue? And typically people will be searching for limo to blank or car service to blank. Those are the most common search queries I see. And that's really what you want to focus your ad dollars on. If you want to start capturing more uh, people that are searching for transportation to specific events. So I hope this was helpful guys. Um, do me a favor. If you got some value from it, give it a like, uh, let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.